welcome back to the, we're going to be doing a collaboration. If you want to join into this collaboration, you can go to the Facebook page, how to collaborate with your YouTube friends. Um, you can join, it doesn't matter how big or small your YouTube channel is. And we'll, I believe we'll be doing collaborations every Monday, I'm not sure. But um, if you'd like to join, go ahead and go like their Facebook page. Um, so today's topic is, sorry I'm using my notes. What are your five biggest money savers? So for us, um, one of them are our menu planning. We feel like we save a lot more money now that we menu plan. We've always had a $100 budget for many years, but we didn't menu plan. So we would just go grocery shopping and we would buy groceries up, to, up until we reach $100. And then we would stop. But the problem with that was um, I'll start cooking and I'll realize, oh, I didn't get this or I need this. And I'll call Dustin up like, hey, and I'll give him a whole new list of things we need in the house because I didn't menu plan. I didn't um, think I would need those stuff or whatever. And we're actually spending more money doing that. <laughs> we actually ended up spending more money doing that. Um, so now since we started menu planning, now we have everything that we need for the meals we'll be making. We may not follow our menu plan day to day the way we have planned it, but at least we have all of the ingredients there so we can um, make the meals. Our next big money saver is cooking from scratch. Um, we buy a lot of stuff um, loose instead of canned, like beans, peas, um, pastas, um, we buy a lot of sugar and flour. I like to keep a lot of those um, dry ingredients stocked up at all times so that way we can always have that to fall back on too. But it also saves a lot of money instead of buying can because a bag of a can of beans run from any, anywhere from 75 cents to a dollar. If you run, run into a sale you can buy it for 50 cents and that's usually when we try to buy it is when it's 50 cents or lower. Um, but buying loose beans, I just saw recently at the commissary they had loose beans for 77 cents a pound. And we can get a lot more out of a pound of dry beans than just one can of beans. So that saves us a lot of money. Budgeting is one of our main ones that saves us money. Um, we've always budgeted, even before I heard of Dave Ramsey, is a habit that I saw my dad um, do. We'll be like sitting at the dinner table or out to eat somewhere and he'll have a napkin or a piece of paper and he'll be writing his little budget and calculating and that kind of stayed with me as I got older and um, I started doing the same thing. But it wasn't until I heard of Dave Ramsey where I started giving every single dollar its name. And that's when we notice a big difference in our budget. Because even though we were budgeting, after we paid all of our bills, we had all this chunk of money left. So what we would do, we would go spend it. That's all we would, we would just spend it. Um, we would just swipe our debit card. In, we wanted coffee, we'll swipe it. We wanted anything, we'll go, we'll swipe it. And although that was fun, it wasn't very smart. Because at the end, we weren't, our money wasn't going to where we needed, like uh, cart maintenance. Um, we could have put that money into cart maintenance, but we didn't. So when the time that we needed an oil change or tires or something happened to the car, we didn't have a savings to, to fix that or a cart maintenance fund to fix that. So now that we have a dollar for every name, uh, a name for every dollar, we are able to have those sinking funds and that yeah. savings. So now we don't have to stress, like right now Dustin's car's in the shop getting diagnosed to see what's going on with it. And we didn't have to stress about that because we had a sinking fund for that. We gave that dollar a name and um, we are able to use that for his car and not have to worry about it or stress about it. And we can live our life comfortably on a budget. And also, um, like our allowances we still allow ourselves an allowance is small it's thirty dollars for each of us but we can spend guilt free without having to be like oh should i really have bought that 
And it kind of makes us think um, more about what we're spending on. It's like, do I really want to buy this $6 cup of coffee <laughs> from Starbucks? Or do I rather want to spend it on something else that I may want? So like, um, recently we went to Osage Beach to get um, his outfit for his church dedication. And we had that money budgeted, so we didn't have to worry about that. And I also got to spend my personal allowance on this amazing, massive um, beach bag. Like, he can fit in this bag. <laughs> and I got it for just $9 at Ross. So, like, it makes us think of what do we want to spend our money on? Do we want to just waste it on coffee drinks? Or do I want to spend it on something that I really really want instead. Um, the next one is pet grooming. We save a lot of money by doing our own pet grooming. We trim our dog's nails. Um, I give Sophie a haircut. She's um, a beagle, turn to her mix, and she has that wire hair. And um, so I try to, we bought a, a grooming kit from Walmart for $14.99 and that's what I used to um, shave her fur down and give her a cut. I try to give her the best cut as I can, thus it cause it a hack job, but um, you know, she's a dog, she's not going to care how she really looks, and I think it, I do a fairly decent job. <laughs> um, but once a year we do take her in so she can get a full grooming, like um, ear cleanings and um, detailed teeth cleaning and stuff like that um, and because she has dark dark claws they do a better cut on her claws than I can do with Georgia hers are clear I can do a good job on hers so I can see her her um, what's it called the wick I think it's called um, so I can do a better job with her and she's a miniature Jack Russell so all she needs is a bath and a good brushing and to get all that extra fur out because even though she's short haired she's the one that Shares the most. <laughs> green. Cloth diapering is a big, is a huge, huge money saver for us. Um, when we first, um, when Justice first came home to us, we used disposables and we noticed uh, the amount of diapers going into the trash and we were not comfortable with that and the amount of money we were paying on those diapers just to go into the trash. Um, we did not like that at all whatsoever. So um, I was experienced with cloth diapers by babysitting. I babysit a lot. I work for the chapel um, in the daycare department in the chapel at, and at Fort Dietrich and now we live there. And um, I got to get experience with some babies who were cloth oh, diapers there. And I had a lot of friends who cloth diapered their baby, so I kind of got had a little bit of insight on it. So um, we, we we further looked into it, and we decided we wanted to go into the cloth diaper route. When we sat down and googled how much it costs to diaper a child from the time they are born to the time they are potty trained, it's about a little over two thousand four hundred dollars. So we decided we'd rather spend. Um, about $300 to buy some cloth diapers and cloth, cloth diaper him until he's fully potty trained that way. And it's a lot cheaper. It's going to save us a ton of money. <laughs> so um, that's what we decided to do. And we're slowly um, going to incorporate more of um, using cloth wipes. I just ordered some for free. We order some more cloth diapers for free through the program that he uses his therapy equipment. He gets um, an incentive for using his, their equipment. And um, I didn't know what else to use that money on because he has plenty of clothes, he has plenty of uh, books and toys. So um, I didn't know what to use that money on and the lady suggested why not put it more towards cloth diapers. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. And we're gonna be adding to his stash and it's all free. So um, we're gonna be using some cloth, like, some cloth wipes at home and we'll be using disposable wipes out on the go. But we have cloth diapers for over a year and we cloth diapers for a year straight even while on, on trips 
We have gone to, last year alone, we went to, him and I went to Houston, Texas. Uh, we went to Kentucky, we went to Indiana, we went to Colorado, um, Illinois was one of them too. So, and we cloth diaper the whole time we were um, traveling, but um, the only time, so it saves us a lot of money and we were able to even do it while traveling. Those are all of our big five money savers. I'll be posting a link to the other YouTube channels that are participating in this collaboration. And also, I'll put the link to the Facebook group. I don't know if they'll let me do that. Um, I'm still trying to figure this out. I'll, I've only been YouTubing for three months, going on four this month, at the end of this month. Um, but again, that Facebook page is how to collaborate with your face or YouTube friends. Um, so go ahead and join that group. And if you want to collaborate with us, we'll be doing the next one on Monday. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>